over the last few years at COT, we've really embraced our mission of uh, presenting opera as a living art form by fostering the next generation of composers and the next great operatic works. And part of how we make that possible is by developing brand new work. Now, developing brand new work takes a lot of people, a lot of time, and a lot of investment into the development process. It used to be that operas had much more time for development, rehearsal, many, many, many performances, not just the, it, the initial production, but performances in different cities. So when Puccini, when Verdi, when all of these great opera composers were writing the, their works, those pieces were rehearsed much, much more extensively. And during those rehearsals, major changes took place. And then they traveled from city to city where entire plot points were overthrown. Today, we don't have the luxury of quite as much time in the those initial parts of the process and as we're putting the piece on its feet. So we invest in the development and the workshopping process to make sure that those changes can happen, to make sure that this draft can become a complete work, one that is meaningful to the audience members as well as the performers and the creators. A workshop is an opportunity to see something that is in progress, a rough draft, let's say. For a composer, all of the ideas are in their head. Um, they put them down on paper and you can't know exactly how it will turn out until you perform it live, often for an audience. In these workshops, we try out the piece in a smaller context. There are so many changes that happen during the workshopping process. The notes are changed, the words are changed. We find that dramatic timing doesn't quite match the musical timing. We may cut and excise huge portions of the piece. We may add more music. The types of changes that take place, many of them have to do with the clarity of the story. So one of the most important things we take away from a workshop, and especially the feedback sessions at the ends of the workshop, is what's not clear, what is confusing. In this rough draft, there are always assumptions that we as creators, as those who are performing the piece, make that do not make it to the audience. And opera ultimately, in my opinion, should be like the movies. You should be able to go in not knowing any anything about the subject matter of what you're about to see and to experience and get something out of the experience and to not walk away being confused by the story or by the words or whatever it might be. A thoughtful and a constructive discussion after the first listen is absolutely critical and leads to huge changes. So thank you to those of you who are able to join us and become part of this process. Thank you for coming at it with a completely open mind and understanding that some things will be totally thrown out the window or redone or reconstructed or redrawn from square one. There's nothing like being part of developing a brand new piece, of having a voice in how that piece is shaped at the end.